May 1941. British submarine HMS Upholder has just sunk the Italian troop ship Conte Rosso. The sub's captain, Lieutenant Commander Malcolm Wanklin, fired his last two torpedoes into the liner. Their trail in the water leads the destroyers protecting the convoy directly to their position. The destroyers take immediate action to find and sink Upholder. With no remaining torpedoes, Upholder cannot defend itself. Its damaged ASDIC, or sonar, means the crew has lost its ability to listen and locate the enemy. Wanklin must rely on his instinct to outmaneuver the destroyers now hunting for him. Keep 150 feet. Wanklin's best chance is to escape, but he's limited by his submarine. Submarines of this period are very slow underwater, and the U-Class weren't slow even by contemporary submarine standards. This is why it's very useful if you're being attacked to know where the enemy is so you can take avoiding action using what limited mobility you've got. The sound of the destroyer's propellers gets louder and louder until they're right overhead. All a polar's crew can do is wait for the attack. Depth charges begin to rain down around the submarine. Sitting on a submarine under attack is probably the most terrifying thing you could possibly imagine. Unable to do anything at all except sit. Attack follows attack. Starboard 30. Wanklin continues to order course and speed changes. Keep 70 feet. Being unpredictable makes it harder for the destroyers to track the submarine. separates the crew from the explosions outside. Slow ahead, both. Wanklin continues to give course alterations to escape the Italian destroyers overhead. Keep 100 feet, full ahead, both. But one depth charge comes too close for comfort. Then another. But it is incredibly close. It can be shattering glass, it can be shattering gauges, it can be all kinds of things. Keep 150 feet. But then, the explosions stop. The crew later reports an awful creaking noise, like the scraping of wire along the hull. As they fear for their safety, Wanklin takes time to assure his crew. One of the things he does is give a running commentary of the noises that are going on outside. So he's giving the crew confidence that it's the fate of the Conte Rosso that they can hear, not a coming fate for them. Two hours later, Upholder finally breaks the surface. The destroyers are gone. <laughs>